what's going on is Anton from AntonDaniels.com. I know you didn't think I was too good to take the bus, did you? I'm actually waiting on the bus so that I can go to the bank. I don't like carrying around large amounts of cash for no reason. I used to do that when I used to go down to the casino. I used to carry a lot of money with me. But that's unnecessary now because we vibing, we chilling. We had a good time yesterday. We threw the dice a little bit and we won a little bit of money. We gave it all away. Not back to the casino, but we gave it to people. I wanted to make sure that people could enjoy themselves. So I made sure that I contributed back to the cause and I had a fun time doing it. So I choose not to document that stuff simply because it's always not necessary. Like the, one, the times that I have documented it on my channel is there. You can see it, you can capture it. You can go back and review it. It's there for everybody to see, but yeah, it was fun. It was fun winning a little bit of money and then giving it to the people. But I do need to hit the bank. We out here in the streets again. Uh, Lapeef Let's Talk show tonight, so I'm getting ready for that. Well, I don't have to get ready for that. I'm always ready. I know what I'm talking about. So Lapeef Let's Talk show tonight, that live stream. And uh, we working, fam. It's really windy. I wonder if y'all can hear that wind. I got the windscreen on, but it's super windy out here. And it feels great. It feels phenomenal. I guess there are uses for masks still, considering that you need one to take public transportation and Ubers and all that stuff. But I am enjoying not being required to wear a mask going into restaurants and walking through the casino and all that good stuff. But gotta go to the bank, deposit some cash, and then uh, I don't know what we gonna do today. I'm not sure what it is that I'm gonna get into. I got some ideas of some things that I was thinking of, but for the most part, I'm not sure what I'm gonna get into. But we just gonna fly by the seat of our pants and uh, see what happens from there, I guess. You know, the difficulty with recording downtown is that you can't really do it over all of the music because you'll get copyrighted. So I don't know how well this will come out, but it's a lot of people down here. Don't ever let them tell you that money don't buy happiness. It's the biggest lie. It might be because they don't want you to get in on that. But I'm telling you money, money give you options fam. And it's an opportunity for you to do whatever you want, whenever you want to do it. You don't have to be subjected to anything that somebody else is, is telling that you you part, have to do. That part. That's, That's happiness. Freedom. Yeah, it's happiness. Man. And I don't even chase Ooh. happiness, I chase growth. Because oh. if you're chasing growth, that means you're willing to be uncomfortable in order to get to where it is that you're trying to go. Uh -huh. Look how beautiful Vegas is. The Bellagio. You got Caesars over there. I think it's absolutely fascinating and interesting if you look at how Vegas is built and the dynamics of it. Let's have a conversation about it because, you know, I was walking around a little bit after the Lapeef Let's Talk show and I haven't been asleep by the way. Nope, haven't been out partying, haven't been doing any of that. It's kind of difficult to manage between the two time zones again because I'm on Eastern and you know, you still operate in kind of sort of off Vegas time because everything happens in Vegas on Pacific. So, you know, after the Peef Let's Talk show yesterday, um, I walked around, I got a little bite to eat or something to drink anyways, came back up to the room and was, and was grinding because at, what time was it? Seven, seven something? Hey, how you guys doing? Don't mind me just to, just streaming, That's YouTube. Cool, <laughs> I'm doing well. How's everything been? It's getting there last night, but I'm <laughs> paying for it. <laughs> Aren't we all? Fifth Have floor. a good one, my friend. Uh, she hit off on the wrong floor. Going again. down. That's always a good sign. Yeah, she got up on your floor. <laughs> always a good sign. Yeah, but um, doing, it's been interesting. Yeah. 
lot of work. Like I've been working a lot of the time that I've been here. I haven't been partying yeah, as I much as I been. Not as much as I thought I would be. I've heard it for you and me. Go in. <laughs> Have a good one. All right, thank you. But um, yes, yeah, it's, it's an interesting dynamic with the time zone because I stream three hours earlier than I would have. So Eastern, it starts at 8.30, which means it really started at 5.30 and we streamed for like three or four hours. And the end of the stream was, I can't even remember, 9.30, something like that. Whereas it usually like 12, 12 o'clock at night plus sometimes when I get done streaming on the peep show Eastern. So it was 9.30 Vegas time and I still had to be conscious of the idea that it's a lot of music. I still had to be conscious of the idea that, um, you know, I had early morning calls. So I usually do like a, uh, I do like three or four different 7 a.m. coaching calls on Fridays Eastern, which means that was really 4 a.m. And I just decided to pull an all nighter. So I was grinding and I was working and capitalizing off of my work ethic and the fact that I don't really care for sleep like that. It's gonna get a little windy. I don't have a windscreen on right now. Um, but I still wanna continue to talk to you guys and I don't feel like editing it out, none of that. So let's just talk, let's just have a conversation because I walked outside last night and observed all of the chicks that's for the streets and the people that was partying and having a good time and that's awesome. Absolutely phenomenal. You're on vacation, have fun. But then I started paying attention to a lot of the details because I decided to walk down some of the side streets and you know take a trip to some other parts that's quite that's a little bit off the strip. And a lot of it is just a facade. I mean it's really just a desert, one big barren piece of land that has all of this the steel and the, the glitz and the glam and the lights and all of this made man-made stuff that we are, we allow to create this facade to allow us to be able to operate the way that we operate. And, and if you think about it, even as far as functionality, there's a lot that goes into keeping this place up and running. And a lot of people are participating behind the scenes like what we see as the finished product is much different than what we see or what goes on behind the scenes in order to ensure all of these people get in, all of the flights, all of the people that's operating these hotels, the construction, the people that's bringing in the food every day, all of the workers, all that stuff is happening behind the scenes in order to present this facade to us or in order to ensure that we all have a really, really great time. And it's kind of the same thing when it comes to these videos, content creation, starting a business, the way that I live my life. Like I spend so much of my time building and working and grinding and editing and selling businesses and running more businesses and investing into new businesses and all these things in order to give you guys 10, 15, 20, 25 minutes of entertainment at a time. Let me show y'all where I'm at. Walking through the Bellagio. Obviously just came over from the Vidara. But all of it is just to, is to give you guys this nice, pretty package presentation. And I love it. I absolutely love it. But the point of the video, I think, is just to tell you that the difference between the people that are successful and the people that hope that they're successful is that we understand all of the things that goes into the back end and then to a larger extent we embrace the fact that we have to overwork in order to get the rewards on the back end in order to hope we're going to get the rewards on the back end so don't be fooled by the presentation don't be fooled into thinking that it's easy Everybody that's successful, all of your favorite biggest YouTubers, all of the people that, that play a huge role in providing you all of the, even your favorite show, forget the YouTube. Let's think about the, the, 
the regular TV shows. You know how many people play a role in the production of these TV shows and the success of them? I really hope that this music don't mess up the video. But you know how many people play a role in the production of these different videos and the presentation of them and things like that? It's a lot. It's a lot that goes into it. And guess what? Also on that other end of the spectrum, there's a lot of people that came to this city that's not successful as a result of it. It's a lot of people throughout the decades and the years that this place has been in existence. It's a lot of broken dreams. For every successful story, for every Elon Musk, for every Bill Gates, for every successful YouTuber or entrepreneur, there's literally thousands and millions of people that couldn't hack it. It wasn't built for it. Most people that wind up becoming successful on YouTube are successful because they were they were willing to endure long enough to actually get to the other side and see results. Most people don't have the consistency. This right here, you see all of this right here? They change this place out all the time just to accommodate and bring in visitors. It's a lot of work that go on there with that stuff. So all I'm saying is when you see me go out and you buy a roll and I buy a Rolex and I take you to the store, imagine how much of my time I had to trade in in order to generate that level of revenue to do the things that I really wanted to do. Imagine how many sacrifices all of the days that I had to spend in the basement while everybody else was having a good time and playing, all of the sacrifices that I had to make in order to live the life that I live. And I still do. It hasn't stopped. The work ethic is still the same. The hustle and the grind is still the same. It's still the same. When everybody else was here partying last night, it looked good, but I've trained and I've conditioned myself not to go by what things look like and to focus on getting minds on the back end. All right, so I don't know if I'm a live stream tonight or not. I probably will. I haven't figured out the dynamics of it. One thing that we still have to solve for is this weather tonight. Friday night is supposed to be only 70 degrees today. 70 degrees in Vegas with no sun is cold. So I'm not even sure if it's enough to even go out and live stream and see. But we'll play it by ear, I guess, and then we'll see what happens. So still got to figure that out. I don't know if I'm going to do it or not, but I'll let you guys know um, probably on a community post or on Instagram or something like that. So make sure you're following me on Instagram. Make sure that you're also subscribe to the channel hit a like for the youtube algorithm subscribe to after hours i drop every day on that channel also and this is my favorite way of vlogging this stream of consciousness i really like it i like having conversations with you guys and i like the way it's turning out so as long as you continue to rock with it and support the channel then i'll continue to do it all right i love y'all i appreciate y'all i'll holler at y'all later peace